But first, I wanted to pay homage to a friend and colleague, Karima Brown, who died on March 4th of COVID-19 uh, in Johannesburg, South Africa. Karima was one of South Africa's most senior journalists. She was also an editor and broadcaster. During her journalistic career, she had been a political editor at Business Day and group political editor for independent newspapers. She had also served in senior positions and as a news producer for the country's public broadcaster, the SABC, as well as the private ENCA channel, and as well as presented talk shows on radio. South Africa is experiencing a virulent strain of COVID-19 and Karina, Karima fell ill in early February. She spends week, spent weeks in intensive care in a Johannesburg hospital. To date, 50,803 people have died of COVID-19 and more than 1.5 million people have been infected in the country. Karima's death, however, came as a shock to journalists and the political class. She had a robust presence in South African politics. A product of the radical left politics of Cape Town's colored working class townships in the 1980s, she carried that politics into journalism. Her father had been a local activist with the United Democratic Front, the mass movement that in the 1980s revived resistance inside the country against the apartheid regime. After the end of apartheid, Karima remained close to the ANC, but at times she clashed with the party, so much so that at one point she was blacklisted from appearing as a political commentator on the country's public broadcaster. In 2019, she won a court case against the Economic Freedom Fighters, that's the party of Julius Malema, after he published her cell phone number on social media, <clears throat> sorry, and party members sent her threatening messages. On the same day she passed away, she was buried in a simple Islamic ceremony. At a graveside, Ronnie Casrols, a Jewish South African and a freedom fighter in the struggle against apartheid, eulogized her. Kazrul's also served in the first post-apartheid cabinet as a government minister and is an outspoken opponent, of, a critic of the Israeli occupation. Kazrul's told Karima's family that they should be proud of who she had become. Kazrul's himself is 82 years old and his doctor had recommended that, that he not attend public gatherings. But Kazrul said he had to turn up for Karima's burial service. How could one stay away from someone who I knew not as much as many of you, but who I came to admire, respect, love, and who stood for justice for all the people of our country, said Kazarov. And if I use the word revolutionary, I'm not attaching that to any particular institution. Karima Brown was 53 years old. Ah, rest, rest in peace, Karima Brown. Um, I think myself and, and many others in, in South Africa and around the world were shocked to hear of her death and our deepest thoughts and condolences are with her family and those who knew her. And she was a remarkable woman whom we're all going to miss dearly. And, and thank you, Sean, for that the truly wonderful and, and chilling tribute.